Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to make another video. And today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how I dealt with postponing my wedding. If you are new to my channel, I do post videos to give biblical advice, life advice, and also my perspective in Christianity. Let's get started. Some of you guys know I've been preparing for my wedding for over six months uh, and the wedding was supposed to happen this past March. So it was kind of hard to deal with planning and preparing for just six months straight. You know, I even handcraft centerpieces and some of the decorations by hand. And you know, the last thing you want to hear is your wedding is postponed, hearing that the wedding is not gonna happen. So I'm not gonna lie, I was very devastated and heartbroken by the news. There was a side of me that came out in the very heat of the moment that I did not like afterwards and I was very ashamed and embarrassed about. Definitely God was there because afterwards I felt silly and dumb just getting mad over postponing my wedding. He gave me so much comfort and love and peace and one of the messages that I got from him when I was crying and just felt so like hopeless was the word patience. And I, I just, if you know me, I'm not, I'm not, I'm someone that is not patient at all. I'm someone who wants things rapidly. I like to get things done quick. I just don't believe in waiting. That's just me, but that's something I am working on, on getting better and just taking things slow. So it was something that was different and I feel like God was trying to teach me through this situation of how to apply patience in my life and to wait and that this wedding was going to happen just not at this very moment. So after God gave me so much comfort and peace in my heart, I realized how dumb and silly I was to cry over my wedding. Knowing the fact that it will happen in a later date, in a later time, I didn't have to get so caught up with my feelings and emotions to the point of feeling that it's the end of the world that my wedding is postponed. So yeah, I was a bit dramatic, but it's something that I, I believe for most girls, we've been waiting for this for our entire life. And God made me realize and see the bigger picture of what's happening across the world. That it's not about postponing a wedding or a special event. It's the fact that people are dying across the world without knowing him, without having a relationship with him. And if anything that is devastating to know, then crying over a wedding. But there's something bigger than this just my wedding. And that is people. There's people out there that are dying without Christ. This pandemic and this crisis, God has really taught me how to rely on Him and depend on Him, regardless of the situation I am in. And I think that's very important for us Christians that when we're going through situations like this in hardships, this is when we depend on Him the most. That is a time to have hope and have faith in God because He is the ticket out. He is the way out to your situation. With that said, I am so grateful and truly thankful that God has given me another day to live and breathe and enjoy my husband and enjoy my loved ones and knowing that they're still alive. And I am just truly thankful for that. And I think that's what we need to do as Christians as be thankful that there is another day that's been given to us and to love everyone and pray for everyone that is being affected by this virus because it is a tough situation. So with that said, I hope that you guys are praying and are still having hope and faith in God. I know it's been tough for the past couple of weeks and it just seems like we're not going to be getting out of this, but we are going to get through this together and we just can't lose faith in Jesus. He has it under control and everything's going to be fine. We just need to have faith and pray for people that don't know him. We can't lose faith because of how things are looking in life. It also has taught me how to look at the bright side, um, which I know a lot of people can't say that right now because of everything that's happening, but there is a bright side. And the fact is that God is alive, there is hope in this world, and that there is hope in your life. And there is no reason for us to give up in hope, still continue to believe in Jesus, 
and um, depend on him like it is our last day because who knows if it is your last day you don't know I don't know I mean they've said through the media that getting this virus there's people that have no symptoms and just because you have no symptoms doesn't mean you don't have it who knows if you don't wake up the next day you just don't know and I believe all of us as believers need to be prepared for that. We are so ready to prepare toilet paper, prepare for food, stock up all these things that we need, our essentials, but we're not prepared spiritually with God. And that's something that is very, very valuable because what we do in this lifetime will, di will dictate what's gonna happen in the afterlife. And that is very, very important. So as Christians, we need to pray for one another and pray for our loved ones, pray for our nation, pray for this world because it is, it is in a very tough situation. And it is even tougher for people that don't know Christ. It's very, very sad and we need to unite with one another and love one another and give comfort to one another. We depend on scripture, we depend on God and, and that's what it comes down to guys. We gotta stay strong. I feel like a lot of people are kind of losing it. That a lot of people are depending on alcohol. You know, they're getting so drunk because they have nothing to do, so they're getting drunk at home. They're smoking weed, doing a bunch of drugs at home just to get their mind off of everything that is happening. But believe me, that is not the way to escape this type of problem. The way to escape this problem is to go head on and speak to God and pray about it. That's how you deal with it. Not by trying to hide it and put it under the rug. Like problems are never solved that way. So I think we just, as Christians, we need to pray for one another and reach out to our family and friends and speak to them and just be the positive, be the light in the situation. Cause it seems like there's just so much darkness in this situation and it is affecting a lot of people and we need to be the light in this circumstance. This channel is personally all about God. It strictly focuses on Him and as well Christianity. So it's a lot more serious and I wanna keep it that way. Um, and my other channel, my personal channel, is a little bit more down to earth and less serious. So that one, if you want more personal questions and more personal stuff, definitely check that out, which will be right here. So subscribe to my personal channel and um, that is basically it. <laughs> I love you guys so, so much. You guys take care. Um, don't lose faith. Continue to pray. I will be talking to you guys very, very soon. I love you so much and God bless. Bye.